going to do Surya Namaskar B. And apparently this video is going to start exactly the same with him showing up exactly on cue again. So, Surya Namaskar B has all the elements of A with a variation of two warrior poses mixed in. The only thing that we have to remember with the warrior poses is one, that putting your hands together, looking up and doing all this fancy stuff with your hands is not the point. <laughs> that is just artifice. That's just something to keep your mind off how much your legs are gonna be burning by the end of this. The real thing that you have to focus on is the legs. There are two important parts to this. One is that in Ashtanga, we never balance on our feet like that. We don't point our toes. We do nothing that's going to give you a, a big giant cramp in your leg. So, our feet are always on the floor and they are always pointing the same direction as your knees. So on this leg, my knee is here and my toes are pointing in a, in a diagonal line across my mat. So when I look down, I see my knee and my foot going the same way. Same thing with this leg. My feet are pointing out towards the top of my mat. So is my knee. Always, always pointing in the same direction. Whether you're doing triangle or whether you're doing any sort of lunge. Feet and knees. Keep that very important. You don't want to get hurt. The second part of warriors in any lunge is that when you look across your knee, you should be able to see your toe on the inside so that your knee is pressing outward toward the side of your mat. You also don't want what I just did, which is your knee to extend past your toes. You want your knees and your toes to be square to each other. That could mean that you have to push this foot back. It could mean that you have to bring it forward, but you never want the knee past the toe. So when I'm looking at my foot right now, I can see the whole inside of my foot and my toes. So everything is the same, except by now, since you've done a few Surya Namaskar A's, you should be able to do this without having to put your knees down. I will do one with the knees down in Chaturanga and a second one as it's supposed to go. You already know everything there is to know about Surya Namaskar, so we're just adding one element that you don't know already. The, po the uh, series begins with Utkatasana, fierce warrior. So you're just gonna pretend that you're about to sit in a chair. That's all that changes. So we inhale, bend our knees. I'm pretending like I'm gonna sit. Up, inhale, exhale, folding forward. Inhale, look up. Exhale, take a step back, step back. And I'm gonna put my knees down for this chaturanga. Lean forward, inhale, cobra, exhale, down dog. This is where it changes. You're gonna take your right foot forward, almost between your hands, not quite. Inhale your arms up. I'm looking at my foot the whole way up. Inhale, looking straight ahead. My hands are shoulder width apart. There's one breath here. Exhale down. Take both feet back in your plank, knees down, exhale, chaturanga, squeezing my elbows into my sides, inhale, cobra, exhale, down dog, inhale, left foot forward, same thing, and I'm going to spin my heel down to the floor in the back. Remember that whole thing about having your foot and your knee pointing in the same direction. Inhale, up. Watching my toes, one breath, exhale down, plank, knees down, chaturanga, squeezing my elbows into my sides, inhale, cobra, exhale, down dog, five breaths. If you're tired here, you can put your knees down and come into child's pose. You can also do puppy. When you're done with your five breaths, back to down dog. 
Inhale, walk yourself forward. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, back to Utkatasana, fierce warrior, as if you're about to sit in a chair, looking straight ahead. And exhale, back to the top of your mat. Samasitihi, all in peace and union. Okay, here's the sequence without putting your knees down, with one breath on each move. Surya Namaskar V. One, two, three, four, five breaths. And there you go, Surya Namaskar B. So I would practice Surya Namaskar A up to five times with your knees up, or maybe just to three times with your knees up, learning this. Get up to three times with your knees up, and that would be six sun salutations before you begin the fundamental poses, which we will do 